I'm Rachel Lowenstein. I'm the Global Head of Inclusive Innovation at Mindshare. What I love both of, most about my job is I get to work with big brands and think about how we can use media and technology for social good and use the economic empowerment that brands have to actually change world issues. My prediction for the future of travel marketing is increasingly travel brands have to think about the role that social issues, political issues are having on travelers and increasingly put that into and infuse that into how they're approaching marketing. It can be thinking about how you can work with creators and influencers and support, especially those from more marginalized backgrounds um, on their dreams with travel, uh, as well as thinking about how you as a brand can use your own positioning, your own representation, your own media to further folks from more marginalized backgrounds. I do see a shift in the way that travel brands are moving towards being more accommodating and inclusive. I think more than ever we have to think about the way that uh, the private sector influences a lot uh, as it relates to human rights. And I think increasingly because there's so much at stake in the public sector, we're starting to see a lot of brands moving and starting to protect and defend the rights of folks um, who are being attacked in the public sector. If a accommodation provider is thinking that they don't need to change how they're doing business and they're already treating everybody the same, you have to fundamentally ask, am I being equal or am I being equitable? Obviously those are not synonyms with one another. Uh, people who are disadvantaged in some way or another need equity, they don't need equality. You're leaving as an, accommo as an accommodation provider a lot on the table if you're not thinking about equity over equality from a financial perspective, not just from a social impact perspective, because if somebody isn't able to travel or doesn't want to travel or doesn't feel safe to travel because those accommodations aren't being given to them, you're going to lose a lot of money along the way. I think it's fantastic and something that's long overdue and something that other travel industry partners would do well to model and, and think about. Um, increasingly with Gen Z and, and millennials, we're seeing more and more people come out as being queer or LGBTQ+. So I think if you're going to grow your brand and grow your business and you want to grow with a community like the LGBTQ plus community where there are a lot of us, disposable income to spend, um, and we want to be traveling, you have to be thinking about the ways and the approaches that you can make it more safe for LGBTQ plus, LGBTQ plus folks to be traveling. I think first and foremost is um, very clearly identifying your space as being LGBTQ plus safe and inclusive and making sure that you actually are. You've trained all of your staff. You fundamentally believe queer rights are human rights, that trans rights are human rights, and all of your staff is in alignment with that. Because the first and foremost thing that a lot of folks who are traveling, especially in unsafe places for LGBTQ plus people will want to know is where I am staying, where I'm going to be sleeping safe for me. And having that clearly identified can go a long way. Um, I also think simple things like uh, honoring somebody's pronouns, using pronouns with your own staff as well, and making that very normalized, especially for non-binary people. I think other things that you can be doing from a travel accommodation perspective is working with other local businesses that are nearby and, and potentially close to your own hotel or other accommodation providers. Um, and making recommendations of where you can go to eat, other experiences that you can go and do that are safe and inclusive and accommodating uh, and things that you belong in. The final thing that you can think about is going back to the point about training your staff and making sure that it's a holistic business uh, approach and not just something that is a marketing approach. This should not be a marketing opportunity, it should be just fundamentally how you're doing business. Although our conversation is about social impact, it's also about business impact. I want people to walk away not only knowing that queer rights and trans rights are human rights, I want them to understand that this conversation of LGBTQ plus travel and making it safe for us to travel is a conversation about growing your brand and growing your business. If folks, um, regardless of their identity, LGBTQ+, BIPOC, dis disabled, etc., do not feel safe and accommodated while traveling, then they won't be traveling and they won't be spending their money, they won't be investing in travel experiences, and that's a lot of money that brands are leaving on the table by ignoring this conversation.